Hi and welcome to my channel. It's your girl, I'm Miss T Lindo, also known as the Skin Connoisseur UK, and I'm back today with a new video for Vlogmas. And I thought it would be really good to share with you guys some amazing game changing products that I had found this year, which was just fantastic for my skincare routine. I will hopefully be good for yours as well if you can incorporate it, of course, based on your skin condition and skin type. Do not forget that. And yeah. So if you've not been here before, like I said, I'm Miss T Linda, also known as Skin Consult UK and my channel, all my socials, is basically everything dedicated to dermatology and aesthetics. So that's what I'm really, really interested in and what I'm passionate about. So I started my journey around maybe like a year and a bit ago now, but I'm, I'm trying to be more consistent, you know, trying to build more of like... <clears throat> an audience and stuff because i feel like i have a lot to share with you guys and i'm sure you guys also have a lot that you can share with me as well like you can never stop learning so yeah i just you know built my channel and it's something that i've just been working really hard on and yeah so any support will be greatly appreciated any subscriptions likes comments all that good stuff anything you can do to just you know help you go out just just a little bit um if you're a returning subscriber hello to you too thank you so so much for tuning back in hope you guys are doing well having an amazing december and let's get straight into this video Okay, so as you know, or should know, or might know, I've been basically on, you know, like a really big skincare journey since I left uni the first time. So this was around the summer of 2018, started the whole bar junior dem system, was on that, you know, on and off for a few months, um, got some amazing results. But then after coming off the skincare program, I found it really difficult to sort of navigate these um, vast variety of products and find something that will help me to maintain my results and just have my skin looking the healthiest that it can be of course um, i wasn't going the prescription route of course prescription products are always going to be more effective more stronger etc so i basically went out on a limb and had to basically navigate this and find this out for myself so 2022 most um, effective product that I've been using, the most researched, the one that has really transformed my skin in terms of brightness and radiance and just general protection of any like buildup and pollutants is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Serum. And I've been talking about this since I've started making YouTube videos. Like I've not changed, I've stuck it out. I'm incredibly happy with it. I don't wanna change and experiment with something else, but this product is a hundred percent amazing like it's pure l ascorbic acid in its raw form which is um, vitamin c so when you apply that onto your skin it can then go through the biological and chemical process and changes that it then needs to make to then convert into ascorbic acid so it's quite extensive very chemistry based um but i do have a, a long video um talking about vitamin c but basically when you guys are probably po popping into like your local boots or super drug and you're picking up a vitamin c more time it's just ascorbic acid so once you apply that onto your skin there's no more changes for it to go through which means you're not going to get the best effects and um outcomes from using these products and i know it can be tempting because it's cheaper but on a long um the grand scheme of things i just don't really feel like it's worth it overall a bottle of ce ferulic you know if you look after it make sure that it's kept tight sharp even put it in a skincare fridge this bottle can last me at least three to four months for the price that i'm paying and that's me using it every single morning so i'm really happy with this product i've been using it throughout the whole of 2022 i don't think i will change um skin cuticles is phenomenal for their antioxidants and um um, yeah so that's that 
Next product that I've been using that I found out about has to be the Neo Strata Enlightening Pigment Gel. So I bought this in Black Friday from Look Fantastic and it was my first time trying it out properly. It's been around I'd say maybe 20 days or so that I have been using the product and since using it what I find really interesting is the oil control. So I tend to have an oily RT zone because I'm combo skinned but since using this uh, my spots react completely differently when they're basically scarring and healing I'm not being left with as dark of a, a pimple hyperpigment mark as I had been and also using this in combination with the retinol as mentioned the oil control has been very very good it's um, a very lightweight gel it spreads very well on the skin um, so a little bit does go a long way I only use a pea size amount sometimes a little bit smaller i don't use it on the neck literally just the face and this has been an absolute game changer in my routine i'm very very happy with it i'm glad that you know i took the dive to try it out neo strato of course is another um sort of high-end um medical grades product which is what i believe in personally medical grade products um that's where you're going to get the most results for your money there's no two ways about it it's either medical grade or you know your prescription strength products so i'm very happy that i tried this out next game changer part of my skin routine has of course been a hyaluronic acid like sea serum i have been using this for a few years as well and i won't change so you know the whole grand purpose of hyaluronic acid is to basically hold on to the moisture that's in your skin as well as attract and pull moisture from other products that you may apply on top such as like you know your moisturizers etc so hyaluronic acid its main purpose it can be um actually used to help you know type of pigmentation it's fought but i can't go 100 percent on that but you know the grand purpose of it is to basically help to smooth out the skin prevent any premature like superficial lines such as like here you know your nasolabials and you know your tear troughs etc etc so hyaluronic acid is basically going to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized and that's what you need if you want healthy skin and a healthy moisture barrier overall so i I'm not too big on using moisturizers mainly from the new derm program which i have again spoken a bit about but i've done my own personal research i have a video on that moisturizers don't do basically much for your skin it just helps to keep your skin feeling comfortable so in terms of providing you you know these extra extra results like a hyaluronic acid would in terms of smoothing the skin out etc it's just not really it so i've been investing in a really good hyaluronic acid so i have used between the ordinary and skin Cuticles. of course for you know overall potency and effect i'm gonna go with skin cuticles, but you can use the ordinary as well i believe a bottle is like 11 pounds i think it's it's either one for 11 pounds or two for like 12 pounds and it's it's quite a big bottle um and it's also the hyaluronic acid intensifier from skin cuticles as well if that is with more of in your price range and that's basically extra potent to the original um hyaluronic acid so that's gonna you know be double the strength for like pulling moisture etc into your skin so now that it's colder and it's december it's been snowy icy what have you in london this has been amazing for me i haven't really had in fact no i haven't had any dryness etc on my skin my skin does appear very hydrated as you can probably see um and yeah I, I often get a lot of compliments that my skin is quite glowy and radiant and i do believe it's mainly from the combination of the sea serum and the hyaluronic acid that i use but i will speak about that again another time but do get your hands on a really good hyaluronic acid the next product that i got that's been a game changer in my routine has to be dermaplaning tools so if you well i'm qualified in doing dermaplaning but i haven't really actually done it on myself i've done it on other 
other people. Dermaplaning is basically really good for helping your products to seep into your skin much better, as well as exfoliate the skin. So you know, um, if you have an exfoliate or it's obviously like a liquid sort of formula and you, you know, you wipe it onto your skin, this is a physical exfoliator. So you're actively using the tool and basically combing off the dead skin um, as you go along and you can see it and it's very instant so if you want an instant exfoliation maybe your skin's been peeling a little bit due to you know some products that you've been using or maybe your skin's just looking really dull you might have an event coming up if you know how to do it and you're comfortable doing it or maybe you're trained in doing it get yourself some dermaplaning tools i got mine from amazon it was really nicely priced i think it was like five pound and it's like 20 or something in the container and that was the best deal that i'd seen like anywhere so that was absolutely fabulous so get yourself some dermaplaning tools and exfoliate your skin and have it looking nice and lush as part of my skincare collection for 2022, a big thing for me was trying out some new cleansers. So, you know, I love my skin cuticles. I've been using my skin cuticles blemish and age cleanser and i was also alternating between the skin cuticles cleansing gel which is a really nice soft um formula and those two products of course are good very amazing but for cleansers you don't really necessarily have to go as high end and medical grade as you would for when it comes to like your antioxidants like your serums basically so i decided that i wanted to try something that was much cheaper and also as effective or if not more so i started doing research into cerave and cetraben which are quite popular right now for being you know effective well researched and also dermatologic dermatologist tested which is quite important when you know picking your products knowing that it has the research and the backing behind it with diligence i'll do a video about that but I looked into these two brands and I decided that I wanted to try it out. So my local Boots has quite an extensive range on, you know, your CeraVe's, your Cetraben's, Roche Posse's, Vichy, Eucerin, etc, etc. So I picked myself up this CeraVe, which was for my skin type, which is normal to oily. So that's the green one, that's the foaming cleanser. That's been really good for me so far. It's very soft, it's very gentle, and I do get a very good sufficient clean out of um, using a pump from the bottle. And a pump from the bottle does go a pretty long way. I can use it on my neck and my face. And um, it's just been really good for me. I've not had any problems with it. I've not had any breakouts, any harsh or adverse reactions. It's very soft. Um, I just like it. Um, my skin does seem to be very you know clean after using it i can feel confident in using the product washing my face and then maybe using like a cotton disc or something and not having as much build up or debris on it um as you would if you didn't wash your face properly so it's very gentle it can be used on young children as well and you know in considerance of a product like that that's something that you know you want that's something that you should be looking for if it can be used on you know the most sensitive of skins then you know that this is a product that will go well for you as an adult you know with you know more mature skin and what your skin may be going through um once you get to a certain age so i've been happy with this it does the job at cleansing the skin you don't need to spend too much and break the bank just for you know a simple cleanser or even a toner so i've basically stuck to this so far i've been happy with it the bottle that i got was around i think 13 pounds i have to put prices down below i don't know off the top of my head and yeah i'm still using it at the moment it's been great i'm happy with it and i think i will stick it out they also have the oil hydrating oil cleanser um which is if you're more drier skin um my skin is not dry um but i would like to try it out in other areas because one thing with face wash if it is a really effective face wash you can use it on other parts of your body as well 
so as like my legs can get quite dry when it's colder i may try it out as a body wash and also let you guys know how i get on with that but of course buying sorove has been a game changer um i got my friend the cetra ben gentle cleansing wash his skin looks amazing right now as well so your cerave's and your cetra bends do try them out if you want a really good cleanser for 2022 i'm not too big on toners but i do use an essence so the one that i'd been using is my dermalogica multi-active toner holy grail for me love it so it basically just hydrates the skin and prepares your skin for any serums or whatever that you'll be putting on afterwards so in combination with that i had also used the clinique essence equally as good um but i think out of the both of them i'm more likely to just stick with dermalogica as i know it's a reputable skincare brand also medical as well and um yeah i just like it i've not had any issues with it it really hydrates the skin really really well and it's it's just very light there's no smell to it no perfume or harsh ingredients so that's been one of my game changers this year actually trying out you know for the whole entire year and i've been really happy with that <clears throat> Um, in case you didn't know you don't actually need toners for your skin when you use a toner it balances the ph for maybe around i think a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes i need to double check that but it doesn't do much at all just using a really nice effective um you know spray toner that's you know quite calming for the skin as well i just find that it sort of prepares my skin just a little bit better so it's not entirely needed but if you want your serums to penetrate better then it's probably best to invest in like a spray sort of formula as opposed to um one that you're just gonna wipe and it's gonna dry off instantly so yeah okay being a girl and love going out i went out a lot during the summer i swear to you actually from like february this year all the way until maybe carnival i'd been going out every single weekend and i managed to keep my skin intact all from my routines my nighttime routines etc but i can't go out without a good pair of lashes okay so my go-to place for lashes is amazon amazon is just a catalog of enjoyment like whether you're into makeup whether you're into skincare i get my lashes from amazon and they have like sort of like replica russian minks um if you get individuals done just these amazing like strip lashes and um yeah those have just been my game changers really because my local beauty supply store i could get a pack of two lashes as in like or a pack of one lashes obviously but with um i think they cost around four pounds 49 but on amazon i can get like a whole whole pack that has around 15 sets of lashes in there so maybe eight or seven eight or nine pounds so that's much more effective like cost of living has gone up like not everybody has money to be forking out on just lashes like i'd rather spend that on skincare which i know is going to maintain and keep my skin healthy over a longer period of, of time so yeah go to amazon get yourself a nice cute pair of lashes for when you're ready to go out and of course you can reuse them as well so that's something to consider and yeah so that's been an absolute money saver game changer for this year for me so far using spf in the right quantity and correctly has been a game changer using the right amount of spf is very important if your skin is going to be protected from those harmful uv rays outside so how much is is quite not really spoken about is it so basically i found out from um, a dermatologist that i once followed that it should be covering you know the peace sign of your finger so that's down your middle finger and your index and then that should cover your face i do this again for my neck if you're not applying a sufficient amount of spf you're basically erasing all the hard work you've put in with you know your antioxidants your cleanse your to all of that like you're not using the spf you're just cancelling out the whole thing so it's really really important to get yourself a 
sufficient SPF and use it in the correct and right way. So I had been using, of course, the Skin Suits Calls Ultra Defense Brightening UV SPF. We'll put that there. Um, I've been using this for a while. I like it because of, you know, the formula. Mainly that's why I've picked it out and we'll fork out the extra money on it. The thing with this is although I've used it and I've raved about it quite a bit, I feel like it started to leave a bit of a blue slash grey cast on my face. And unless I put a moisturiser like on top or something or I have a good amount um it just doesn't blend it just doesn't blend properly and um if i want to use a good amount of spf i just kind of realize that it, it's not gonna make me look like this like really radiant and and black like i want to look like i'm black and not like i've just crawled out of a graveyard so it's important for me to find a good spf so i've actually gone back to my la roche posay um this did my, make my face feel a little bit like oily and greasy um I just kind of feel like it is what it is at this point um i mean as it's colder right now it feels more hydrated than anything but yeah i've gone back to my la roche posay um and you know i know that this is gonna you know properly cover my skin and my neck protect me and not give me a gray cast so that's what i've been using so make sure you find a really really good spf that works for you doesn't matter if like you're white or you're black or you're brown every single person needs Needs an SPF and I've been drumming this into someone that I know because they're so against using SPF oh I'm black I don't need an SPF and it's like you need it like you probably need it well not more but you know you need it like if you're cleansing your skin it's like just anything like UV rays is what's going to age you, it's what's going to cause premature scarring and superficial lines, it's also going to cause sun damage, which I didn't notice before, but I feel like looking at people now, I can see it. So you know you look at some people, especially with people like my skin tone or a bit darker, sometimes there's like a, a mask, if you look carefully at their skin you can see a mask that's slightly um, pigmented than the rest of their skin and often this is sun damage, we can be sun damaged and it takes years to happen so you're not wearing your SPF today and you've popped your, spin your pimple last night the scar might not show up straight away, but I'll give that a few years and it will show up. You don't want to be looking like the lady on Benidorm. So make sure you get yourself a really good SPF and look after your skin and maintain your skin. And another thing is that with SPF, I feel like we drum it into having it on the face so much, but your body is equally as important. Your body has skin. So if you're exposing areas, especially like your hands, put spfs on them girls we get our nails done a lot of us are doing gel nails now that uv light and the gel nails is gonna kill your skin when i tell you so if you're going to the nail shop or you're about to put your hands under the light just put a bit of spf on like your hands it doesn't hurt you can see from my hands as well i used to think this was freckles i'm now convinced that it's sun damage but just protect your skin protect your skin Okay, so I love getting my nails done. Obviously, because I have placement and I'm doing this facial course, I've not been able to have them done. However, when I did have them done, or even if I'm getting my feet done, a game changer for me has been telling the therapist to stop cutting my cuticles back. Your cuticles are the little area of skin that you'd find between your nail and just as the nail bed is about to start. So the purpose of the cuticle is essentially to protect your nails from any possible bacteria that can cause infection. And I guess they cut it off for aesthetic reasons, but I had a problem where I had my cuticle cut and then I basically got an infection in the side of my finger. So I told myself never again. And from obviously doing a bit of research into like, you know, derm dermatological stuff with, um, you know, your nails and the nail matrix and actually, you know, the purpose of each, each function of um, 
the materials of the nail, you want to keep your cuticle there. It's important if you can to tell your therapist not to cut your cuticle in order to prevent infection. If you get a really, really nasty infection, sometimes your nail will have to be removed. So it's something to, you know, consider. Um, I don't know why, I don't know. I mean, for aesthetic reasons, yeah, I guess, but like the whole purpose is just weird. Like, have you ever had your nails done before and you've come out the shop and your cuticles feel sore or maybe they drilled it too hard and it started bleeding? Like all of that is ridiculous and I think about in the grand scheme of things. So when you get your nails done, protect your nails. Don't let them cut your cuticles, whatever you do. Protect your nails so that you can have them looking cute when you're ready and infection free. Don't sleep on a good prescription moisturizer, okay? I've been suffering with like dry skin on my legs on and off, especially when I come out of the shower. So it's giving aqua pruritus. So I went to my GP and I was given a cream called Epimax. And I've also been given something called Hydromol. And I've been using this on and off since maybe last year. And I can't afford it. I actually can't afford it. So, you know, if you are entitled, if you're in the UK actually rather, and you have dry skin, it's good to visit your GP to get, you know, prescription prescription medicated cream that you're paying much less for than you would pay like if you went to like I don't know some sort of private clinic and they have their version and this will really basically help to build up your skin's moisture barrier and protect your skin as well so some of the host of medicated creams out there there's epimax there's cetra and that they also sell in boots and i'm sure a host more that i can't think of off the top of my head these creams are just really good a little goes a long way as well and i've just found that it's really helped to support my skin as well as keep it comfortable Comfortable as a moisturizer would in regards to the hydromol as well this is like a um a slightly milky consistency oily milky consistency and you use this in the shower so if your skin is very sensitive as well and you can't use um soap for example for whatever reason you can actually clean yourself with the hydromol in the shower so you can just pour it onto your skin you know rub it in and then just rinse it off lightly and the thing with the hydromol is that it can be used in the genital region as well so if you're a female maybe you've got you know itching or dryness in your vulval region you can use the hydromol it's actually really good for that um you'd find sometimes if you're a woman and you've got sensitivity with using maybe pads or tampons and stuff using the hydromol in the area when you have your wash can really help to just hydrate the area and alleviate any pain and swelling and itching and inflammation that may have been caused from this suspected allergy so it's amazing you can use it there you can use it on all other parts of your skin especially within the colder and winter months you do want to incorporate something like this into your routine and luckily enough they do sell it on amazon so have a look around on amazon as well for your hydromol or your epimax you can get that from your gp or your pharmacist and you know try and incorporate it into your routine if dry and uncomfortable skin is something that you suffer with and you can't seem to find any alleviation for it and last but not least i'm going to talk about my hair so i don't often talk about my hair mainly because there's not much to say about it but a game changer for me had basically been incorporating some really good products into my routine so i had invested into olaplex um products so i'd been using zero number three think six seven and eight as well so that's a combination of like your pre-protein treatment your protein treatment deep conditioner um a leave-in conditioner moisture mask etc this has been really good for strengthening my hair so last well 2020 2021 every single month i was getting a silk press mainly because i struggled to look after my hair in its natural form so i was getting silk presses back to back every single month and basically what happened was when i decided to stop doing it the ends of my hair wouldn't kink back up it didn't return back to normal so in addition to this they basically slowly started to drop off so i took the decision earlier this year to basically just cut all my ends off so i was walking around like a jackson five and <laughs> something that i wasn't used to 
so by incorporating like really good high strength protein treatments into my hair routine i've noticed how much stronger my hair is now and how more resistant it is and i've got my curl pattern back of course it appears much healthier and I'm, I'm quite happy with it i do use the olaplex i try to use it once every two weeks sometimes it's once a month but i do find that it's basically been a really good game changer for me in addition to that i have bought my rosemary oil and i will be mixing that with like an amla oil or an argan oil and putting that onto my scalp as well to assist with keeping my scalp healthy because the first step before wanting long luscious or healthy hair is to have a healthy scalp so it's important that you look after the scalp so that's been a game changer for me and also just taking the plunge to just cut the ends off um i've been scared to cut my hair for ages because I don't know it's just part of an identity like as a girl isn't it so yeah i just done it and because i keep my hair in braids as well it's not like anyone's really gonna know um but it seems to be coming along much more healthier compared to how it looked when i was getting these silk presses so that's been a game changer for me so far this year and there are a few things that i've tried out like using my collagen powders taking vitamins um trying to exercise here and there like by water walking and stuff but um with the collagen powders in particular i think i want to save that for later because i've only just started it so i don't want to give you guys false information i'd be excited to know what you guys game changes have been so far in this year 2022 as you know we move on ahead to the new year but yeah this has been quite great for me i'll update you guys if anything and i do hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like comment share all that good stuff and i'll see you again soon goodbye